Hi, and welcome to a new property tour. I am Danilo Romolini, and today we are back in the ancient and extraordinary Tuscany. In the area of the Tiber Valley, close by to Arezzo, we find a lively hilltop village named Anghiari, a place hiding for hundreds of years among its mountains some eternal castles. Today, we will visit together one of them. Let me guide you through it. Come with me. The original castle was built over 1,000 years ago with the purpose of defending the road that connects Valdarno and the Tiber Valley together. Over the years, it's been converted into a large and welcoming family castle by the Barbolani di Montauto family. That updated its look and internal layout, preserving its original design. On two sides, we notice also elegant arched lodges with stone columns that were added during its Renaissance period conversion. The castle sits on an impressive 65.9 hectares estate, mostly covered with woodland and arable land. Five hectares out of the 65 are made of olive grove, which makes this the ideal place to make your own olive oil. Questa incantevole piscina è 18 per 5 metri, un angolo di pace e tranquillità a due passi dal castello. Il luogo ideale per rilassarsi e godersi le calde giornate della Toscana. As we approach the entrance door of the castle, I would like to remind you to leave a like to this video and subscribe to our channel. We have several new and interesting things coming. The ground floor immediately welcomes us with this large entrance hall. Here is where we find the terracotta floors and the arch ceilings, and it also leads us on this side to a bedroom with bathroom, just like on the other side, whilst over here we get to the corridor. The castle has a total internal surface of 1,715 square meters. It has nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms, and it is laid over four floors. Through this hallway, we access on my right to some of the bedrooms, and in the end to the kitchen. This room, once updated and restored, 
could be ideal to be turned into a chef's dream kitchen. With these broad spaces, beautiful proportions and the original fireplace, like old traditional kitchens used to have. To get to the upper floors, the castle has this beautiful staircase, which reminds me of the staircases from ancient palazzos. Let's go upstairs. On this floor of the castle is where most living spaces are found. Through this hallway, in fact, we access to several bedrooms, reception rooms and sitting areas. This is indeed one of the largest living areas of the castle, characterized by these detailed coffered ceilings, the stone fireplace and this terracotta floor. Here is the ideal place to read a book and relax. Right beside the living area we've just seen, we find this other broad space, which is currently used as a playroom. This room has so much to tell us through these beautiful vaulted ceilings with frescoes, the terracotta floor, and these original handmade lead windows. I'd love to show you also this other lovely reception room. It is on the other side of the castle and it is characterized by these impressive ceilings, the terracotta floors, the marble fireplace, and in one end it even has its own private chapel. And what better place to end today's property tour? It is an amazing castle with some great potential, both as a private residence or even as an accommodation business. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Ciao.